Hi, I'm F.A. Here we go. Okay, this is a company setup tab. And uh, this is the FICA rate. Pretty much a national thing. Medicare rate, pretty much all states. Your state unemployment, though, I don't know what that is. So I plug this in. Um, and then I plug this in. So you might want to get with your state unemployment tax rate. What is that? What is that? And then what is your federal uh, unemployment rate. I believe that's, I believe this is okay too. All these are federal, so this is the only state one here. And then your workman's comp rate. What is your workman's comp rate? Uh, that's an individual thing by company, okay? So fill that out. In production, here's your, here's the crews that I gave me the information on from the staffing model. You got five service plumbers, one, uh, HVAC service tech Rossi. Oh yeah, and here's your five plumbers up here, and then uh, a Zach, and then I put a helper because that install crew should have a lead and a helper on it. Okay, uh, I just like these left these blank because uh, I didn't see that you had any sewer or electrical going on there. But uh, two man crews on an installation side always. All right, uh, then I put in here. I don't know what you're paying your guys, so I just plugged in an hourly rate of forty dollars an hour. And then for the helper, uh, 25. And then it does all of the taxes, uh, everything down through here. So you can find out what your, your true direct labor cost is. Okay, for every hour. And then we got PTO. Uh, again, this is something you need to change or keep the same, whatever it is. I don't know what your plan is. But basically a 10 day vacation paid, seven holidays paid, three sick days paid and then five other days off if they want, but they're not paid. Everything down here is not paid, but you're still missing that uh, efficiency of not of losing those days. So you got five days of lack of efficiency when you're doing that. So it does affect your selling price. Okay. Cause there's only so many days we have to divide in or so many hours we have to divide in. We give them away. Uh, we get to, even if we're paying them or not, we still have to identify them. Okay, and then our cost. So basically those paid days off are costing you $3.91. And then a crew, it's $50 uh, for, the, for the crew, okay, on a day. Now that, yeah, this is for a day now, so that's for eight hours, okay? So you divide that by eight, and that's what you get in order to understand that your PTO labor cost had both a lead and a helper in it. So just want you to understand where that number's coming from. But that's for eight hours in a day. And then your efficiency targets. Um, I just plug these in because this is what I coached. 40% uh, efficiency on the plumbing service, 37.5% on HVC service, and then 60% as a minimum. Uh, at, I'm sorry, as a maximum. I wouldn't, uh, even if you can do four days a week, don't bump it up to 80 because you can't do that year round. So I, bump, I put everything at 60% knowing that I know that I can get three installation days out of my crews. Okay. No matter what the hell happens, I get three installation days out of my crews. So does that raise my price on my installations? You know, I don't want to kid myself thinking I'm going to be at 80% efficiency when that may only happen a third of the year. And nobody's 100% efficient. I mean, there's days and weeks that you will be 100% efficient, but think about those days and weeks that you're not, don't have that ability. So 60% is a conservative number. Uh, however, I like that. Okay. Uh, and if you and if you do want to find out what your true efficiency is, we can just back into it by getting some information from you. You and I can spend an hour on the phone on a go-to meeting or text me or whatever kind of meeting we can have. Not sure how to do that anymore. I don't have software for that anymore. Uh, but anyways, we'll we'll make that happen somehow. Okay. And then uh, M5, here is, uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is what it's costing you for those unproductive times. So basically, here's how many hours you're going to generate in a year, build hours. Here's how many build hours you're going to generate in that HVAC department. Okay. So that's, if you got 2,000 and 
40 hours, you got this. You got 2,040 times your five texts, you're going to get this how many hours out of it. And then for the day, at 60%, you're going to get 141 days, okay, out of that. And then I plugged in, took in your financials, I plugged these in, I put the chart of accounts in up here, okay. This here didn't quite mirror up like I thought it would. So that's why some of these numbers might be screwy. But what it, what it, what has happened is I did short it up. I shorted up and plugged it in to what this number is here. So showed this and then I plugged it with this and the other payroll taxes. Now your group medical, everything, all the other costs are what you showed me in your P&L. Okay. And then marketing cost, I just plugged the three, basically I had three marketing numbers, so that's where I plugged it in at. Right? And then again, chart of accounts for each one of them. I doubled up on some chart of accounts on some of these because I was running out of room. So I just plugged them all. Like depreciation, there was no depreciation expense for some reason. Maybe you lease everything, I don't know. But I thought that was odd. Um, and then the warehouse shop expendable tools. I just teamed those up as well for the chart of accounts. And then the overhead. Uh, let's see what I did. Yeah, like this one here. Here's a heavy leak. So dues, postage. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell comp and office supplies means. But anyways, it's, it's your chart of accounts in there. You can look it up. Anyways, I, I got it all to end up to be in what this is and this is like maybe a hundred and twenty dollars off of the total so i'm not sure why that is but it is what it is okay just want to make sure that we have a semblance of what's actually going on here now here's where the art kind of comes in so as i was playing with your selling price so 61 percent of your overhead is coming from your plumbing service side it makes sense because you have uh five crews there. I uh, got 11% come from the HVAC service side. That makes sense because you're turning over leads over for a salesman for your installation because your installation departments are day are day departments. Uh, I got 28% of your your revenue stream is going to be coming in through that side of the business. Okay, I'm willing to walk you right through there. I know that's a quick this could be a whole hour conversation. I can roll that out to you, but just understand that that's how I look at this when I'm divvying up the overhead by department. And that's all this is doing. It's just allocating the overhead by department to come up with your sold hours. Uh, oh, come up with your selling price, actually. Uh, but your sold hours. So when you're looking at your business on the service side, this is your goal per day, 16 sold hours per day. This is your goal per day for your HVC because you only got the one tech and that's three hours. That's 37 and a half percent efficient. Okay. And so that was the efficiency target that I put on over here, 37 and a half percent. So that's why it shows up here at three hours a day. Now this is 40% efficiency and that's because your efficiency was at 40%. That's 3.2 hours a day. And then, oh, well, why the hell it Thing keeps coming up, but 60% is for the installation, so you're going to be at 60% efficiency. So when you've got this right here, and it's a day, it's a day rate type thing. I just kind of block it out. I said screw that. You're looking for three a week, and because you have one install crew, it's the same. So if you have multiple crews, that that crews would be down here. So like here's one. You got one tech in there. Well, the department's going to be the same, but right here you've got five techs. So that's going to be 80 hours in a week that you're looking for. So you, what you're looking for on a daily basis is you're looking for 16 sold hours for the plumbing side and three sold hours for the HVAC side. Now on a weekly basis, you're looking for 80 hours in the plumbing, 15 on the service, and three install days on the installation side. Makes it really easy to track and measure. Now you have to do your job costing on these jobs to make sure that you do have that selling price, which is this selling price right here, uh, $5,078 for a day rate. And you might be asking me, okay, why do I have 37% margin in there? Well, 
two uh, percent of a I give two percent to a service technician for turning a lead over. Okay, I got ten percent for a salesperson to sell it, and then I got twenty five percent that I want for the company's profit. So anytime it's a percentage that you're dealing with, you just add it to the margin, and that here's your break even. That's going to add it to your selling price. You know all this shit, but I'm repeating it. Okay. So here's your break even, put 25% margin on it, you're at 400 bucks. Here's same thing, you're at 400 bucks. Okay? Now, why do I have this 10% down here? Because this is for non service agreement customers. Those would be 421 and this would be 443. Now, everybody over here is going to get service agreement customer rate, bottom line. Okay, they'd be stupid not to. It's costing 90 bucks or whatever the hell I do. But, anyways, that is your profit pricer, okay? And I looked at your staffing model, everything looks cool there. And from there, we'll start building some prices. But let's have a conversation. Uh, I'm in most of the week. I do have baseball practice Monday and Wednesday at noon. So in the morning, I gotta leave at 11 o'clock to get there. So let's say, Anything before 10 o'clock my time would probably work out okay if we had a call. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll just take this a piece at a time, making sure we've got this stuff plugged in. All right, bro. Thank you.